Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're in the kitchen. I'm going to be making rabbit pot pie. Pretty simple recipe here. Just a lot of good fresh ingredients. Let me just run through kind of what you're gonna need to get this all together and then uh, we'll get to cooking it. Um, first of all, I've got, um, I don't know, maybe the cup and a half of uh, carrots kind of chopped up, about a cup and a half of celery chopped up, about the same amount of onion all chopped up and ready to go. And I've got some fresh herbs here, about a tablespoon of fresh thyme, tablespoon of fresh rosemary kind of chopped up real nice, and uh, I don't know, three or four tablespoons of fresh parsley uh, chopped up pretty good. And about two and a half cups of rabbit. This has been cooked already. I cooked it in the pressure cooker, pulled it off, uh, shredded it, chopped it up real good, and then uh, used part of it to make enchiladas the other day, and now we're making rabbit pot pie with the rest of it. Need a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of chicken stock, about a cup of chicken stock, and about a quarter cup, maybe a half a cup of heavy cream, just depending on what you like. Um, you'll need a pastry dough, of course. I'm going to be using a frozen pie crust um, just because it's easy. And you're going to need a little bit of flour. Um, so let's get in here and let's get started cooking. Let me bring you in close. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is saute our carrots, celery, and on onion and uh, get those nice and cooked down. So let me bring you in close and we'll get to going. All right, I've got um, some bacon grease heated up in a skillet here. You could use butter, a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna be using bacon grease. We're just gonna throw our onions in, our carrots, and our celery. And let these cook, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Let them get kinda nice and soft. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, I'll show you the next step. All right, so these are looking pretty good now. Starting to get pretty soft, so we're ready to move on to the next step. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about, I don't know, about a quarter cup of flour. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in my thyme and my rosemary at this point. Let me get this stirred up just a little bit. Okay, thyme and rosemary go in. And then we want to cook that down for just a few minutes to... Uh, you know, let the flour cook a little bit so it doesn't taste like flour. So probably, I don't know, three, four minutes, something like that. And uh, keep stirring it at this point. You don't want it to burn. Almost forgot. A little bit of salt and pepper in here too. Probably, I don't know, half teaspoon or so of each one. So after that flour is cooked down, about three, four minutes, something like that, we're going to go ahead and add about a cup of chicken stock to this. I'm going to do this slowly because I'm adding it in a cast iron pan. You want to whisk that in there. And we're going to add about a quarter cup of heavy cream. You can use half and half if you don't like heavy cream. I personally prefer heavy cream, but you know, you can do either way you want to. And just stir this all together. Whisk it in there pretty good so it gets incorporated. All right, it starts to uh, bubble just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add our rabbit at this point. Our parsley. And I'm gonna throw in about a uh, about a cup of frozen peas as well. And stir this all together. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna let that go ahead and continue to uh, just cook on the stove for just a minute. Let me back the camera up here. We'll show you what we're gonna do next. 
All right, so we're ready to uh, construct our pot pie here. So I've uh, buttered a dish. Uh, this is an eight by eight or a two quart um, casserole dish. You could do it a lot of different ways if you wanted to. And uh, we're just gonna pour the hot filling into the casserole dish. And then, we're just gonna lay our pie crust over the top of it. Now again, I'm using a frozen pie crust here. So, I mean, it's not frozen anymore, but it was store-bought frozen pie crust, so I'm gonna have to trim it off just a little bit. Um, You want to leave about half an inch, quarter inch, something like that, bigger than the uh, than the pot that you're using. There we go, and then you can just kind of uh, work it down in there. Do whatever kind of fancy uh, pie crust thing you want to do. You know, press it with a fork. That's a little too much over here, or just, you know, leave it the way you want, however you want to do it. Very important though, you do need to make a couple of slits right in the pie crust in the middle. So you give it a place to uh, vent out like so. And now this is going to go into a 400 degree oven for about half an hour, 30, 35 minutes. Let me throw that in the oven here and then uh, we'll come back when it's finished. I'll show you the finished product. All right, it is done when the uh, crust is nice and finished. And that's, uh, that's kind of the finished product right there. We're gonna have to let this cool off for a little while before we can serve it up though. Give it about uh, 15, 20 minutes to cool off and then you're ready to serve, ready to eat. All right, it's been cooling for about uh, 15 minutes and it is ready to uh, serve up. And it uh, smells Fantastic. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully uh, if you try this recipe, give me a uh, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. And uh, as always, God bless.